Okay, so you want to use my add-on, CBG Board add-on, to create your own boards for your board games. And for that, you would like to make decals to use on your materials. In this video, I'm going to show you quickly and easily how to do that. We are going to require GIMP, so go ahead and go to GIMP.org and download GIMP. It's an open source and free software for any platform. And once it's done, select a decal. So in my case, I chose this one, downloaded it and opened it in GIMP. So to make a decal out of this JPEG image, that is to say, make it a PNG by removing the white background, we are going to use the Select by Color tool in GIMP. So I'm just going to select that tool and click on the white background. Here we are. I'm going to zoom in by holding down the control key and scrolling the mouse wheel and what I want basically is to remove all everything that isn't red. So I'm going to increase the threshold, click again on the white background and we are getting closer again and it should be fine. Uh, oops. Mm, yes. Okay. So now that we've selected only the blood stain, uh, well, the background, we are going to invert the selection by clicking select and invert. And now only the blood stain is selected. So I'm going to press Control C to copy the content of the selection. Go to File, Create from a Clipboard. And now I have my bloodstain. Okay. Well, it's all well and nice. Unfortunately, if we keep it this way, when Blender imports it, it's going to rescale it to fit a square. So we are going to take the matters into our own hands by going into Image, canvas size and rescale the canvas to make it a square. So the height is 1572. I'm just going to copy that value and paste it on for the width and click resize. Okay. I'm going to move um, the stain to the center by pressing M to move or this tool and move the stain somewhere in the middle. Now that I'm satisfied with my image, I'm going to click File, Export As, give it a name, find the appropriate folder, OK, and name it Blood 1, for instance, if I have many blood stains to create. OK. The second case is if I go to pixabay.com and I'm looking for a hay background to apply on top of my materials and I want the materials to show up underneath, I need to make a PNG out of this image I downloaded. So you can go to pixabay.org. Most of the images are free to use. And so in GIMP, here is what we have. So in this case, I'm going to select only some straws I want. So for that, I'm going to use the Select by Color tool and zoom in and click on a straw. Uh, yes, OK. So I have many straws selected. I can just Control C, File and uh, Create from Clipboard. And this is what I get. 
So I can save this one, file export as, and name it hey export. Okay, I can go back and reduce the threshold to make a less dense uh, haystack. Okay. Oh, I forgot, you have to resize the image, of course. So I'm going to reduce the threshold, re-click on the brightest straws, okay, press Ctrl C, File, Create from Clipboard, all right. And now I have less straws and I'm just going to add a shadow to those straws. So I'm going to filters, light and shadow, drop shadow. I have a preview of those shadows. They are too um, blurred. So I'm going to make them like so. Reduce the offset, make the shadow closer to the straws so they don't appear as floating up in the air. All right, here we are. And turn their opacity up. OK, and click OK. Don't forget to resize the canvas. Make it, um, I can decide to make it a smaller canvas. Resize, OK. And um, Press M to move. OK, and select where I want my straws to be. OK, and click File, Export as, and make sure it's PNG, of course, and type hey2.png and export. OK, I can move it somewhere else like so, and click File, Export as, hey3.png, and export. All right, let's see the result in Blender now. So I'm going to select this cell, okay, and apply the stickers I just created. So I'm going into um, uh, do, 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 do. it should be they are here. OK, accept. So I'm going to apply my haze, uh, this one, for instance, and apply as sticker. OK, I'm going to resize it. And now I have haze on top of my cell. I'm now going to apply the blood stain I just created. And now I realize it's a little bit reddish. So we want something more realistic. So I'm going to cancel this. Uh, sorry, cancel again. OK, go back to GIMP find this one and adjust the colors by clicking on colors, curves and play with the curves. Okay, by moving the cursor here to increase uh, the dark values and reducing the bright values. Okay, I want to keep some red hues. Okay. Here we are, and export again. Export as blood one, replace the old one. Go back to Blender, update the folder by just selecting another one and reselecting the previous one. And now we should have a more realistic looking blood stain and indeed
Okay, guys, so that's basically it. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section below. If you like my content, please subscribe and uh, you'll be notified when a new content comes online. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.